man, I'm 35. I have no man in sight, no kids in sight, definitely no marriage in sight. Why am I still doing this dating thing? All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So, you are now in your 30s or 40s, and you are sick and tired of dating, right? Today, we're going to discuss how you can date in your 30s and 40s when you are wanting children. Today, I'm absolutely going to give you guys four tips on how to do just that. Number one, I want you guys to stay positive. Right. I know it's kind of hard to say when you're in the throes of it all, but you have to stay positive and know that your time is coming because God did not bring you this far only to leave you by yourself. Right. Which actually brings me into number two. You have to keep the faith up. Keep the faith that your time is coming. God's time is not your time. Number three, you guys have to stop wasting time and date with a purpose. If they're not meeting your standards, move on. If you see that it's basically where you're only talking and texting once or twice a week, that's not what you want, move on. Stop wasting time. Date with the purpose. The fourth and final thing, I want you guys not to move so quickly because you think that you're Biological clock is ticking. This is especially for my ladies, but actually I'm noticing with me coaching more and more, the men are starting to think that they are not going to have children as well, especially if they have not had any and you're, they're now in their late 30s or going into their 40s or already deep into their 40s. They're starting to think about this same thing, but you have to date with the purpose and then not only just get with the first person that comes to, to uh, that comes to say, "Hey, I want kids. Choose me. Choose me." You got to slow things down, not at a snail's pace in your thirties and forties, but slow things down, especially if you kind of antsy. Like, man, I want to get married. I want that baby. I want that family. Only to get those things. What a damn cycle. Like you have to go through the steps. You have to go through the process still. When we're, when we're older, see I'm actually 40 right there. I'm right there. Just had my first baby at 38. I'm sorry, at 39, excuse me. It can happen. I was absolutely in your shoes. It can happen. I had to stay positive, which y'all can tell I'm a positive person anyway. Like, what you see on camera is what you see off camera. Very positive. I always knew it was going to happen for me. I never lost the faith. And I dated with a purpose. I absolutely did not get with just the first person that wanted to get with me or that was showing me a little bit of attention. Because I don't deserve a little bit of attention. I deserve a lot of attention. That's what I got. That's what I have now. That's what I wanted. And we'll be married soon. So if this is your very first time here, know that I am now engaged to be married. All right? It can happen for you in your 30s and in your 40s. All right? I'm just going to repeat them really quickly. You have to stay positive. Keep your faith. Date with a purpose. And don't be so antsy. You know, don't be so antsy. Like, get to know that person still. Go through the process. Go through the steps. It could be moved along a little bit faster, right? After a year, seriously, seriously, the absolute supermax, as I like to say. The supermax needs to be two years in your 30s and 40s. Because by that time, the person already knows what they want to do and if they want to do it with you. So if marriage is your goal, you pass that two-year mark in your 30s and 40s, you ain't getting married, boo. Or you might be one of those people that stuck around for 10, 20 years, and now you're getting the title. Do you really want to do that? I mean, some of those relationships work out. I'm not knocking them. I'm just saying if that's not what you want, you have to create the life that you want. Pray about it. Absolutely pray about it. Get very specific in your prayers. 
Don't just say that you want a man because that's what you're going to get. Don't just say that you want a woman because that's just what you're going to get. Be very detailed about what you want. Very detailed in your standards. Very detailed in your deal breakers. Very detailed in your potential future mate. Now, did I miss anything? Come on, people, talk to me. I want to read some comments in the comment section below. Y'all getting better and better. Y'all kind of spoiling me, and I love it. I love reading y'all comments. Let a sister know, right? I already know it's tough dating in your 30s, and now I'm 40. I know, but it can happen. Keep the faith, right? Now, if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 and you love seeing my content, make sure that you give me that thumbs up, and... Make sure that you become a part of Team I Love Me, Me, Me by hitting the icon or the red subscribe button. Because here at I Love Me, 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 we are dramatically decreasing the divorce rate by supplying you with the tools and the tips that you need in order to have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship. All right? Go ahead and subscribe. And make sure that you guys are hitting the bell so you can get all of the notifications when I upload a new video, which is twice a week. Sundays and Wednesdays. All right. I love you guys and I'll see you in a future video. Mm -hmm. Deuces.